the force of wisdom mark 6 2 the force of wisdom the bible says on the sabbath day when it was come he began to teach in the synagogue and many hearing him were astonished saying from whence had this man these things and what wisdom is this which is given to him that even such mighty works are wrought by his hand there is a relationship between wisdom wisdom that comes from above and mighty works you cannot separate mighty works from wisdom everywhere you see wisdom you know that there's mighty works connected to it i define wisdom for us number one as the accurate application of knowledge wisdom is the accurate application of knowledge knowledge is only potential power it's often said in our world that knowledge is power i disagree knowledge is potential power it is knowledge that is understood and applied with intelligence that becomes power hallelujah so wisdom is the accurate application of knowledge another definition wisdom is the ability i said last week to use the written and inspired word of god to make accurate decisions and provide solutions to life's problems i'll take it one more time that wisdom is the accurate application of knowledge and then that wisdom is the supernatural ability to use both the written word scripture and the inspired word the rema word that comes from the holy spirit to make accurate decisions and then to provide solutions to life's problems that means the fruit of wisdom is seen in the quality of decisions that are taken are we together you know where wisdom is functioning by the superiority and the quality of decisions that the possessor takes it is impossible to claim to have wisdom that comes from above and then your life continues to be a representation of inferior decisions no there are four kinds of wisdom as revealed in james chapter 3 and verse 15 james 3 15 lists for us in no particular order four kinds of wisdom number one it tells us there is earthly wisdom wisdom that is a product of your being alive on the earth are we together yes human wisdom common sense we call it number two there is sensual wisdom another word is scientific wisdom wisdom that is a product of experimentation you keep building hypothesis until it is established as a theory sensual scientific wisdom academic wisdom the third kind of wisdom is called devilish or demonical wisdom wisdom that is as a result of your fraternity with spirits that are not the spirit of god it is possible that a man can possess the ability to make certain decisions and not by the spirit of god we see that clearly in the book of Acts where a lady who was possessed with the spirit of divination, she was prophesying accurately. How be it not by the spirit of God? Acts 16, when you read from verse 16, that a damsel was possessed with the spirit of divination and she brought their master's great gain using her soothsaying. So it is possible that someone by a familiar spirit, a spirit that is outside of the spirit of Christ, may seem to make temporary progress. It is called devilish wisdom. Hallelujah. And then finally, the Bible tells us there is wisdom that comes from above. There is wisdom that comes from above. Supernatural wisdom that comes by the spirit of the living god this is the kind of wisdom and the dimension of wisdom that if and when 
possessed and accessed by the believer, evidently your life will produce greater works. May that be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Do not forget that I said you see the excellency of wisdom by the quality of decisions that you make. We do not decide consequences, unfortunately. Consequences are connected by default to decisions. So you don't choose consequences. You make choices and decisions and with those choices and decisions, the corresponding consequences connected to them become your lot automatically. That means that when you look around your life and you find out your life is plagued with failure, defeat, pain, regret, negative decisions, it goes to tell you that there is bankruptcy of wisdom. And we all need wisdom. Wisdom is a very profound gift, a treasure that is needed and required by all men for destiny actualization and then even for greater works. Jesus in Luke chapter 2 and verse 52, the Bible says he increased, he grew in wisdom. In wisdom, Jesus himself increased in wisdom, then in stature, then in favor with God and with man. Are you seeing the protocol there? That even before he opened up for favor, he accessed wisdom. Because everything favor brings, wisdom preserves. If the only thing you pursue is favor, you will keep having things that you will lose because wisdom is a preserver. It received grace to hear and understand in Jesus' name. Wisdom. What are the benefits of wisdom? I think I should just state that. Most believers do not appreciate the benefit of wisdom in the life of an individual who presses to have it at work in his life. Number one, wisdom strengthens and secures. Ecclesiastes 7, 19. Ecclesiastes 7 and verse 19. The Bible says, Wisdom strengthened the wise more than ten mighty men which are in the city. Powerful. That wisdom can secure you more than ten mighty men which are in a city. In fact, one of the versions, I think Amplify or thereabout, will say wisdom secures more than 10 mighty rulers. So he's not just talking about ordinary men. He's talking about rulers and villain generals. Can you imagine that wisdom is greater than 10 mighty rulers with their experience put together? Wisdom that comes from above truly secures number two ecclesiastes 7 and verse 12 wisdom protects and wisdom preserves it says for wisdom is a defense watch this and money too is a defense but the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom gives life to those who have it give us amplified let's see the justice that amplified did for that it says wisdom is a defense even as money is a defense but the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom shields and it preserves the life of him who has it he's telling you the difference that wisdom can bring defense even as money can bring defense but the difference is that money cannot preserve the life of the person who possesses it if money could preserve the life the rich fool would not die because he had a lot of money but no wisdom and the first proof of wisdom is that you acknowledge that there is a god in heaven because only a fool will say in his heart that there is no god are we together wisdom preserves number three ecclesiastes 10 10 wisdom brings efficiency popular scripture wisdom brings efficiency to your life if the iron be blunt and he do not wet the edge sharpen the edge now then must he put more strength but wisdom is profitable in that it has the ability to direct you 
towards an efficient life. I can tell you sincerely speaking, it's an uncomfortable truth, but a hard life is directly traceable to the absence of wisdom. Hardship has an explanation. Wisdom brings efficiency. Wisdom brings efficiency. Wisdom brings efficiency.